welcome back everybody to ultimate rocket league url guys welcome to it this is our season two of url 3s last production until next season this is the closer this is tonight that's it this is all we've got left of the season uh so uh, finals that's that's where we are that's what we're left with that's uh that's really all we got left pete you know a thing or two about finals sir how you doing in the booth today Pretty good, pretty good. I'm just chilling, waiting to see these finals as this is the very last stream for the end of this season. I mean, it's crazy to think about. You know, we, we go through seasons left and right. We got season two of threes going on right now, finishing tonight. We got season three of, did I say that right? Season three of twos, two, threes, season yeah. two of threes. My goodness, a lot going on, but it just goes <laughs> to show. Too many numbers. Seriously, too many numbers, too much stuff going on, just goes to show. Uh, there really is no stopping at any point for URL. Um, on that note, we get to the finals, the end of the season. This is what it all leads up to. This is how everything ends, how everything finishes. Four teams will be crowned champions. Four will be sent home. We've got one team that's already been crowned champions. The Stallions and the Nighthawks played last night. Fortunately, I just duped you there. The Stallions did not win. The Nighthawks took it, I believe, in five Four to one. That was a nice little game. Unix and his team are going to take home the gold for the Nighthawks Legends squad. So congratulations there to them. Guys, we've got one game brewing for you right now. This is the All-Star game. Uh, the All-Star Blizzard taking on the All-Star Rays. And, and these two teams have been extremely dominant all season long. The Blizzard, not so much as the Rays, but throughout playoffs, they've really built it up. Uh, they're here today for a reason. They look good. They they really really look good. You know the the rivalry has been building up. You know we've got some we've got some not so nice words being said to each other. You know what I mean? You know everything that's all playful banter, uh, love and fair in you know games and stuff like that. But uh, Pete, do you know do you know any of the guys on this team? This raise oh, I'll actually tell it to you. Um, unfortunately, we don't have rosters or stats for you right now. Uh, to look at but we'll go through the rosters either way for the Rays. We've got Azira. We've got acne. We've got Nihilus and we've got Ryan. What do you know about any one of those guys? Um, pretty sure I know Ryan mm -hmm. from I think URL season one mm -hmm. I'm I saw him in like a very good game a while back But that's all I could remember. I don't okay. I don't really know much well, the uh, all-star scene. <laughs> well, that is that's all right. You're not supposed to. You're supposed to know more about the ultimate scene, which I know you do. That um, is true. The other side of things, though, we took on the Rays. This side, you'll know a little bit more about. Uh, the other side is the Michigan Blizzard, and this is Bry, Yox, and uh, and Char. Now, I know you know Bry at the very least, but what do you what do you know about Bry? Tell me one thing you know about Bry. Bry. He's Bry. He's, he's Bry. The, he's Bry. He's, <laughs> he is the man. He's been here once, and he went. He won it, and he's here again to try and do the same for this season. I mean, this guy wins championships inside and out. It's ridiculous. He's got accolades to his name in other leagues, in URL, in URL 2s, about to be in URL 3s. I mean, this guy is crazy. He is for sure the name to look at on this Blizzard squad to, to facilitate the ball around, but I don't know that he's the full deal. Like I said... You know, this Michigan Blizzard team has, has had to rework out a couple of kinks, but they're here and they're ready to deliver now, and I think that's what's important. Uh, you're going to see a lot of movement around the ball from them. You're going to see a lot of solo plays, but, you know, plays that combine and work, and I think that that's really uh, what, what does a great job for them. Uh, again, the only other thing I'd mention is a huge shout-out to Ryan Gav. This is the second season in a row he's been able to take his Michigan Blizzard squad all the way to the finals uh, for All-Star. They won it last season. They're defending champions... And they have an opportunity to do it again here today. Yeah, I mean, how crazy is that? Bry, the plot armor just builds here for the Blizzard. You know what I mean? Bry continuing to win. The Blizzard being able to do it. Uh, take, to, take the chip again. I mean, it just works. Um, absolutely. But we're going to go ahead and get started up here. Uh, Michigan Blizzard taking on the San Diego Rays. Pete, do you have a prediction for this game? Uh... I feel like, honestly, I'll, I'll give a prediction for the score. I think it's going to be 4-2 four, four for the Michigan Blizzards. I feel like they're going to win. 
Four two for the Blizzards. Okay, I like that. I know, I know more people on the Blizzards than I do on on the on the Rays, and I feel I feel like that's just putting my vote more to the Blizzards. But who knows? These this is the finals. Anyone can make it here and just make a huge statement here and win it all. Well, I feel like that's, you know, really what we have to work for here. Technically, on paper, the Michigan Blizzard are this underdog team, this anything-can-happen team. They literally start off the scoring right here. This is a beautiful shot from Shar, who manages to just find the, you know, ball in the net. They're early in the game, going to put the Blizzard up. But that's exactly what they want. That's exactly what they need. Uh, and it's, it's really how they want to start this game. The Rays are going to have to figure out how to return here. Yeah, both teams sending the ball to each, to each other's half, almost finding a shot. Oz passing it to Ryan. Ryan off backboard, Char. There to save it though. Oz giving a little back pass. I don't know how to say that name. Ryan puts it up field. Oz putting it back into their half. Trying to get a double maybe, puts it in their backboard. Ryan ready for the touch, gets a double backboard. And Rays are just here to prove that they are here. Rays are on the move right now. Finals. They are on the move. Dude, Ryan with the almost double. Oh, zero with the follow-up. Acne in perfect position. By the way, that is that is the only other player here today. Uh, you do not know this person's name. I don't even know how to say it. Jahiu. Me neither. Uh, I know that that is Acne, though, playing for the Rays. A rostered player. Uh... I'll, I'll be excited to see what Acne's able to bring here too. You know, I've heard a lot from Ryan and Azira about how this game is going to go, about how they have worked on this game together. I have not heard as much from Acne. I'd be interested to see if Acne's still been involved in the process, warming up and playing with them. I mean, they won their, lo their last game with Nihilus. No talking about Nihilus or Acne here. Azira is the man in the spotlight. Beautiful pass here from Acne. Bry not gonna be able to get anything done with it. And Azira just on top of Bry so fast and already. That's a beautiful start for the Rays. Two goals. <clears throat> yeah, it looked very one-sided in the beginning, and now it's very one-sided on the other half now. Two to one. Rays on top right now. Bry getting a little clear out. T taking it around Ryan. Yox just ready there to receive the pass. And, and this is beautiful too. I mean, you saw Bry take this one right over. Ryan not even anywhere near that ball. Yox knows he's reading it. And is way too far out of the play. There's nothing that you can do there to stop that play. Uh, you know, rotate a little bit faster on the edge. You know, those are all hypotheticals. But what it boils down to here is that these players are, are really playing a controlled game right now. I, I think that's one thing that we didn't see very much of from either squad earlier. Uh, you know, even even against us, you know, the Blizzard taken on the Angels in the semifinals in order to get here. They didn't play any sort of controlled game. They, they, you know, really made sure that they were on top of the ball and the booms. It is one thing that hurt them a lot, and it's going to hurt them here again. Azira able to slot another one in. Great work from the youngster here. Azira slams in their third. Nobody back and ready to defend. I think the Blizzard are going to have to reevaluate how they want to take this one down. Yeah, both teams are doing amazing on the field, but it's just to who can find those mistakes to put the ball in target. It's both teams right now, nearly neck and neck. As the Rays, they're just a little ahead of things, you know? A little an extra goal. Yox couldn't get the shot in. Ryan, a little double commit with Oz. Bry though. Sending it across the field. Docs gets bumped. Char putting it into their half Ryan. Trying to just relieve some pressure. Oz putting it into their half. Gets a flip reset. Docs already there though. Acne. Sending it across the field. Gets a beautiful air dribble. Uh -oh. Ryan demos Char. Bry. Ball possession. Oz ready to counter the play they're just everywhere azira really has been everywhere you're absolutely right he's there in the net again to make the save it just seems like he's literally been everywhere on the field he's always on the ball he's ready to follow up these touches you know again the plot armor literally does continue to thicken here azira you know had his opportunity last season in twos played for the idaho elk went huge on that you know 
that massive Idaho Elk team, I don't even know how else to say it. They were so good. They were so, you know, just able able to, I, I don't, you know what, disregard what I'm saying. It's not Azira, it's Ryan here. They continue to see the team progression come out. I mean, they're everywhere. They're placed perfectly. There's not a blizzard in, there's not a player in sight who can, you know, really make that save. They just seem like they're all spaced out too much. Yeah, both teams just trying to find their, their ground here. But I think Rays are just have found their ground earlier than um, the Blizzards here because they're just... Oh, the own goal. Bry just read it perfectly. Char giving a good pass. Bry just ready for the pass, Ooh. though. Yeah, that's tough. There's not a lot that you can do in that situation either. I, I really do think that it's just... It's one of those things where you're just in the position at the wrong time. Wrong place, wrong time. Not able to wrong make that place, touch. Wrong time. Wrong place, wrong time. That's that's literally it. Bry gonna get credited for that goal. Blizzard still having a relatively tough time getting this off of their side. Oh, Zira gonna be able to make this read again. I'm, I'm a big fan of him and the Dominus too. Bry makes a little bit of an awkward touch here and this ultimately centers it up for Azira. But I have no idea how he makes that read. That's great work. It was just a good read overall, and uh, Bry just has to not pass those middle again if he wants to see this team continue to push forward. But wow. Char, reading those midfield passes as well from the other opponents, Agni just couldn't get it around. Some way finds it middle, and Char just ready to strike it down. Wow, all right, we've got a minute left. The Blizzard down a goal. Opportunity here for the Blizzard. Bry not able to play this one around how he wanted to. Actually, yes, he is able to play this around how he wanted to, but it's gonna be Acne who gets the clear, and this is all too close for the Rays. They should never have let it get that close, and for the Blizzard, that should never have even been an opportunity to not score. It needs to find its way in. 35 seconds left on the clock. Azira on the ball. He's the only player on the <laughs> on the ball right now that you probably don't want on the ball. He's He's been everywhere tonight. He's been stellar so far. You do not want him to have an opportunity, especially not in the last 30 seconds here. He's gonna get the clear down the field. Pops it up to the corner, already up. Azir on the ball. Gonna be cleared away by Yox, who's by the way, has been relatively quiet here today. Yox has been the big talker of the group. Lots of lots of banter from him, and it just seems like we haven't seen him uh, where we've needed to see him so far. I'll be, I'll be excited to see uh, him come alive here, uh, see what he's able to bring to the table. But as we dwindle yeah, down here, yeah, go ahead. Final seconds here. Raised. Wow. Just doing an amazing job to keep that last minute goal out of the field there. It was a very close one. I, I nearly thought it was in. But here, Rays are here to step up. The reigning champions are just not in the good mood right now. They are not doing well. And I think, I think maybe a timeout next game. Because right now, they they need they need something to to show that they're here, you know. Because right now, their their defense is ev everything's amazing. Both teams are doing great. Right. I think that the Michigan Blizzards can show me a little more, you know. Yeah. I think they can just do a lot more, you know. I expected more, and I mean, it's a very good game. But Blizzards there, they just. I feel like they need to step up a little more if they want to defeat these Rays team because yeah. Rays, they are doing amazing, especially Azira. He's doing amazing all around the field and his team is there to support him all the way through and it is just doing good overall. I think I think with the Blizzard right now is that, you know, they've, they've seen a game. They've seen a game from this team now. They've been known to play from behind for sure. Uh, we know that they like to do that. Oh, boy. This is gonna be awkward. I've already messed this up. Um, uh, no, but they, they are able to play from behind. It's it's one thing that they're able to do very very well, uh, considering you know how how well they really are gonna need to play from behind here if this race team keeps working. And of course, the update didn't overlay. The overlay didn't update. Uh, we'll switch that afterwards. Azira able to get a touch here off backboard potentially gonna be blocked away by Bry. Acting gonna put this one down. I think the Rays have an opportunity here to get way far out in front of the Blizzard as long as they continue to follow, follow up with each other's touches. You know, that's, that's been the big thing so far. They're playing controlled, 
They're making sure that they put the ball where they know their teammates are going to be. Acne not able to figure that one out. Azir going to get that one last touch. But you know what I mean? They're, they're taking that second to make sure that they put the ball in a spot where they know that they can get another touch. You know, keeping possession is huge, uh, but continuing to do it is going to be even bigger throughout the series. Yeah, both teams trying to just make something happen right now. Acne. Putting it across the field. Bry gets bumped, but gets the ball at the same time. Gets bumped by Char. Brian with the free goal right there. It's just a miscommunication, what it looked like. Yeah, and you know, you hate to see that. That's that's one of those game, you know, enders right there. You know, that that takes down momentum, takes down motivation. You know, you, you start hitting that with your teammates, you start bumping into your teammates, not knowing what's going on. And all of a sudden, you know, you're, you're in an awkward spot because nobody knows what's going on. Nobody's able to field that ball, uh, you know, possession wise. And, and, you know, especially because the Rays have done such a good job, you know, maintaining possession. You don't have any opportunities to bump your teammates. You don't have opportunities to really mess up like that. And, you know, granted, nobody wants to mess up, but those, those mess ups need to be minimal for sure. Yeah, both teams, I mean, they have their few mess ups, but I see a lot more mess ups from the blizzards than i see than the rays because rays are pretty consistent right now with their touches and uh just overall in the in, in the match nearly getting a shot is that in yes it is ryan beautiful read just finds the way finds the pass from oz a great look here from the rays by the way they get their second and it the, the blizzard they I, I don't even know what to tell you right now. They just are not able to find the ball when it comes back to their own side. I, I think that needs to be another big focus too. Clears again, you know, making, oh my goodness. Acne almost has the double. Bry gets an unworldly save. That would have been an absolute cliff if it had gone in. Um, gonna be a shotty from Char and here we go. The Blizzard start to warm up. Uh, or, or should I say, you know, they're just ice cold. I don't know, whichever one you want to go with. But this ice is going to be a great shot from Char. Ice in the veins. You're right. They icy. They icy. They're starting to drip soon. Here we are. 2-1. Middle of the game nearly. Ryan. Getting a good shot. Oz. Putting it down. Char couldn't get to it. And Ryan. Gets the shot in. Wow. This Beautiful is... pass from Ryan. To Oz. <laughs> Back to Ryan. Char just kind of broke his legs between the backboard there and Bry just couldn't read it as well. And what an exceptional 50 there too. That's that's great work from Ryan right there, who you know has absolutely been hitting the gym recently. You love to see what he's able to do with the ball. You like to see the control that he has. Bry gonna take some control of his own. I think that's gotta be where you start, by the way. I think Bry needs to be you know, the, the player you're almost waiting for uh, to get the ball to in that midfield. Gonna go for the 50 here, not gonna be able to get it. Gonna roll right over to Yox. The Blizzard not able to continue. Gonna fall right in front of their net. Azir are going to get one tap up. It's the Blizzards here to take advantage of. There's nobody there. Char, no boost. Yox, nothing either. Bry able to bat the ball off to the side. This is a scary situation for the Blizzard to be in right now. All on their back foot. Little to no boost. An absolutely peaking team of Rays right now. It's, it's not ideal for the Blizzard in any way. They're going to need to make a stalwart effort in order to make sure that they, you know, really put their foot down and, and stop this scoring offensive, you know, possession. Uh, and, and just the actions and the ways from the Rays right now. Yeah, Rays, they're just, they're stepping up to the plate. They, they're they there everywhere, wherever they can. And it's proved that their passes, Ryan and Oz doing very well with the passes in the entire, throughout this entire match. Even last game, we even saw a few passes from Ryan and Azira doing well, both there to step it up. But I think, if they want to go to the full potential. I want to see some more from Acne. And here it is, Acne getting Ooh. the pump on Brian almost there. Ryan putting it into there. Half gets a flip reset. Down to Oz, Oz almost reading the touch. Bry sending it back to their half. Ooh. Acne gets a demo. Bry getting a good flick over two. Oh. Ryan with a good oh. stopper. Char still with the ball, Bry. Trying to keep up possession. Azira putting it into the midfield. Char couldn't oh, read it. Trouble. Free shot from Ryan. Misses. Yogs. Pass back to Ryan. Ryan. Or Bry. 
<laughs> um, Acme oh. puts him in. Yox ready for the shot. And it's in. Yeah, Yox has been uh, relatively quiet today so far. Again, you know, I, I feel like even in the past few games that we watched him in against the Gorillas, against the Angels, this kid was everywhere. He was the one you wanted on the ball. And it just seems like right now they've really made a distinct effort to not just put one person on the ball. They're really trying hard to distribute the ball. They're just not as fluent with it as the Rays are yet. Um, I, I like I like what Char has been doing too. Char has been acting as the third man, you know, as much as he can. He's the only one back right now. The only one who's going to be able to have a shot at this goal. And he's going to end up getting the clear away. Char with another beautiful block. Bry going to have to make another attempt here. But, uh, I mean, it's not fast enough from the Blizzard. The Blizzard have no answers right now. This is barely going to end up being a save and that it's going to result in a raised goal. It's going to be their fourth. Uh, this will potentially lead them to take game two. I know it does not have the overlay updated right now. We'll have that updated at the start of the next game. But 23 seconds left to go. They're, the the Liz has got to find two. And they got to do it now. Yeah, defense has just not been in favor for the Blizzards here. Oz putting in middle. Ryan gets the read. Zero couldn't get to the ball, though. Acne. A good touch. Char. Trying to proceed the play. Bry putting it over under one. Bry just can't put it in. Char misses. Takes two double commit. Bry just keeps it wow. up. And it's game two for the Rays. Wow. Well, the San Diego Rays have two in the book now. You can see Yox has left the match. He's looking to make sure that he gets that car change. Now, we heard earlier that the Blizzard would not be interested in using a timeout. Is there a possibility that we see them potentially with a timeout? Uh, I feel like Bry's going to stick to his words and he's going to do it out of... Spite at this out point? Of, right? Out of spite at right, this point. I feel, like, <laughs> I feel like he's going to not do it just the sole reason that he told you he's not going to do it. Absolutely. I mean, listen, I'd, I'd be the exact same way at that point. But I, you see, this is that's where it's a tough call. At this point, I, I'm not willing. I'm not I willing. feel like you'd have to. <laughs> I think like at you this do. point, there's got to right. be some respect for your team here to call a timeout and talk to him a little bit. Right. You know. Yep. I, I 100% think, agree. But I mean, true to his words, still no timeout call. It's it's very possible that they're also waiting for the next game as well. I mean, you want to see what happens game three? That's more than fine. I think as long as you wait to see what happens here and are willing to take that time out if game three doesn't go your way. I, I mean, I hate to say it. Ryan Gabs in the chat right now. He's looking and he's like, dude, this is not how we play. This is not how this team is supposed to look. This is not how these guys perform. I mean, the, the Angels beat the Angels. They listen, the Blizzard beat the Angels, right? And I'll tell you right now, we could beat this Blizzard team any day of the week. Uh, if they look like this, this is not how this team is supposed to look. This team is way better than this. I I'm, I'm just waiting to see, when, you know, when they step up. You know, Bry on the ball, not a bad thing, but you need to consistently have that ball moving off your own side of the field, and I, they need to stop triple committing while they do it. You know, that's been the other big issue here. You know, we catch the Rays, you know, with always one back, always making that concerted effort. Maybe not there, but the double commit, this might be an opportunity from the Blizzard. Bry with a shot down field. Ryan able to make that block back, but that's what I'm talking about. There's no triple commit. Unfortunately, there is a double commit there from the Rays, but it's hurt the Blizzard a lot more than it's hurt the Rays this series already. Yeah, both teams, I mean, are just doing... I just think it's a very one-sided right now for the Rays. Like, Bry just doesn't find his moments, and both the teams not really there to support him. Unlike, unlike Rays, as, oh, oh my god, that was a great read. Bry, just ready in defense though. Acme, putting it down mid. Yox, putting it back mid for Char. Putting it into corner. Acme, getting the read. Low boost. Char, going back. Bry, couldn't get the pass to Yox. Char, trying to keep possession, maybe getting a shot here. Acme, sending it downfield. Ryan, little double commit with Acme, no one in net. Acme, putting it down mid. Oz, gets it past one, Ryan, sending it to the corner. Acme, getting a good shot, Bry, ready for the save, Char. Trying to keep ball possession here. 
try and putting it down mid Oz could not get it to Oz. All right, let me Acme. let me ask you a question here, Pete. Just just real quick. Um, this is this is definitely a little bit different looking of a game than the past two, in my opinion. You know, the Blizzard is starting to come alive. What do you think the Blizzard need to do in order to win this game? This game right here, with the remaining I, half a game they have left. I think they need to just have more have more faith in each other, because both teams right now, you you see you've seen Char's impeccable defense in their half right now and if brian and uh yox can have confidence in char's ability to defend then both of them can be able to push up more further and further into their half and just leave char there to do the 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 man's work you know <laughs> man's work char is A good at doing the work. man's work you're absolutely the right the man's work <laughs> um Potentially a great 50 from Ryan. The Ray is going to continue this offensive push. Two minutes left on the clock. Just over that. And, you know, still no sign of a score from either side here. The Blizzard look like they've really started to get it together. Take it a little bit. Take it a little bit slower. Uh, of course, the cast is Chris. Only going to come in and make any sort of difference here. <laughs> Ryan with an unfortunate goal here. You never want that one to go in. But I don't think Yox expected that one to touch the ceiling either. Yeah, I mean, unfortunate for the Blizzards there. Any Blizzard fan would be just crying and absolutely... I know I am. ...shedding tears <laughs> right now. To see that, let that in. Yox getting a good demo. Fake Char! What a save! A touch. Oz, what a save! Oh. Brian, they're trying to get it out, but Brian... Ready. All right. One to one. I'm, I'm convinced, Pete. I'm convinced, bro. We got a game on our hands. Game three curse. Maybe the <laughs> timeout. Maybe the timeout. They didn't need it. Maybe. Maybe this is where they stand. My prediction. The 2-4. This is where they start. They're going to go winning every single okay. one from now on. So the reverse four. Or the reverse two. The reverse two. four. I, the I, reverse see what you, two. I see what you mean. The reverse two on Zira. Gotta what? find another one here. And this is not at all what the Blizzard want. This is now two goals. The Blizzard have not meant to let in. That, you know, it's just unfortunate they go in on Zira. Again, just amazing. Stealing the goal. Wow. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, stealing the goal completely. But again, just the ability of the Rays to keep that ball so far forward for so long. You know, it's, it's been a bit more of a jumble and a back and forth this game. But it, it's certainly still been the Rays game, uh, in my opinion. And I think that's been one thing. It's really worked out in their favor so far. Again, if this minute and 10 goes by and the, and the Blizzard are not able to score, the Rays take game three. We're on a match point. This is potentially, if the Rays here win this, could be potentially a, whole, a sweep. Yeah, for finals. From a finals team, two final teams. Yeah. And it's a sweep. That That is... You're crazy. I'm, listen, I'm so excited to watch. I mean, I should never say this, but I'm excited to watch the fallout for this game. There was a lot of things that were said, and I'm, I'm excited for the for the kind of fallout, for what comes next. Um, but I know, truthfully, I think these are two teams who knew coming into this that this was going to be a hard-fought battle. Either way, they were going to go. Unfortunately, uh, the Blizzard are just not as strong on the offensive right now. There's still plenty of time left on the clock. Don't get me wrong. They've still got an opportunity here, and they've still got a whole other game to do it. But I, I do think I do think that you've got to, you know, really pull out all the stops here. That's an unfortunate touch from Bry. You're going to get the ball right back to the Rays into Ryan, who, again, you don't want to have that ball. Bry, final seconds, puts it backboard. Char doesn't read it. Zero trying to put it down. Bry keeping it up. Ryan putting it down. Bry sending it back up. Gets a flick over two. Yox doesn't oh. put it. Oh. Bry struggles and just doesn't get the touch. That's tough. Wow. Now the question here is, <laughs> do we see a timeout? Hold on, I'll um, I'll, I'll definitely let them know. But we're gonna go ahead and save game three for Ben Pai. Because we know he already needs has it. Replay save. Oh, dude, that's awesome. We have so many replays being saved right now. I'm gonna save them live on the stream so that everybody knows I got them. Um, boom. Yeah, I mean, 
This is this is kind of ridiculous. I, the Blizzard swept 4-0 last season. That was that was the Cotney season. That was the Cotney Ibonic Zay group. That was absolutely ridiculous. That's what we saw last season, though. Again, um, this is this is a completely different team, different people. But this is their last opportunity. They they need to you know really pull up big here. I'm gonna remind them that they have a timeout to use. <laughs> Bry says no way to the timeout. I appreciate that. They are big. They live on the edge. Maybe they want the reverse sweep. Maybe they're going all in on that. What if they? What if they just come out here and they just reverse sweep three now, or they reverse sweep the next four? If they reverse sweep, I'd be frustrated for my prediction. Yeah, but. <laughs> I'd be happy to see it. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? I'd, I'd be more than fine seeing it because it's impressive. It's cool. I'd preferably like to see a reverse sweep, but I guess, you know, we can work with whatever we're given here. San Diego Rays need one more game, one more session of five minutes in order to take home the gold here or the Blizzard, you know, to be eliminated. They, they've got to just keep working here. Char, not able to get anything started here. The Blizzard would ideally like to get something started way sooner in this in this series, but you know they're they're down to their last life right now. This is their lifeline. They need to take every advantage they can here. Yeah, Blizzards right now just they need to find every single crick and Annie to even break down this defense here because Bolti, oh my. Oh, Double we commit. A, we got a roster change. Almost Hold on. It in. Ryan is out of the game. Nihilus is in the game. My fault. Continue. <laughs> but I just think that Dry, nearly good touch. Um, Blizzards need to just step it up here. They got to find their ground, and it has to be now. If not, I mean, it's game over. And Ray's just take it in a 4 0 sweep. Double commit. Dry. Uh -oh. Almost. A lot of whiffs. A lot of fakes. Nihilus hit. Not Nihilus. It's on Zira. Zira hits one. Top bins. Gonna take that one home for him. And, you know, the Rays gotta feel good. Uh, especially about scoring this one early in the game. And before all is said and done. You know, they're not frantically moving. This is a great goal from Azira there, too. You know, that's that's awesome work from them. They've got 344 to maintain. And the Blizzard have potentially only 3 minutes and 44 seconds of their season left. Yeah, on I blizzards, they gotta just step up. If this is a fluke, then they gotta reveal now. Jox blocking the shot for Bry. Char going up. Bry trying to just keep it up. Nihilus. What? I, I gotta appreciate the name Nihilus. It's a very good name. I am not gonna lie with you. I, I like the name. I can, Absolutely. I like the name Nihilus. I I, I gotta. Give a quick shout out to Nihilus for picking <laughs> the name. I don't know how you thought of it, but it's a very good name. But Bry here, challenged by Nihilus. Nihilus misses Oz, gets a double char. There's impeccable defense there to save the day. Blizzard's still struggling to find the goal, or maybe even the ball past the half on the race. Bry getting a wow. good touch, putting their First goal in for this match. And this is why he denies the timeout right here, because he knows he can do stuff like this. That's a beautiful beat on a redirect. That's un that's ungodly from him. And that's that's really what's making me see this right now. We've got so many, you know, like X level players, you know, on the field right now. Like you know what I mean. Like they are good players who we know uh you know, are good players. You know, we've seen we've seen them play, we've seen them throughout the season. We know that they're able to perform and we know that they perform well. But, you know, you put this much talent on the field and you know you're going to start seeing something great. You know, that's that's just what it ends up being. But Acme going to toss this one down the field here. The Rays want to climb back into this game. They don't want the Blizzard to ever even have a shot at this series. They would ideally like to end it right here. They've got two minutes to do it. They've got to find one more. They've got some pressure. Acne potentially with going to be a goal right here. And absolutely, Acne's never going to miss that one. A beautiful bump from Azira, too. And the Blizzard are really just sitting at the mercy of what the Rays want right now. Uh, I don't, I don't know what else to tell you. There's nobody in the net. They're out playing them. They're out, you know, probably calming them. Uh, you know what I mean? Everything is just going yeah. the way of the Rays right now, uh, in the motion of the ocean. I think what Blizzards truly needed is more defense than Char. 
Because apparently, this menace of a team, Ray's here with just so much good offense that not even a guy like Char with very amazing defense can defend a, an, an entire team. And I think they're just missing that little, those little key details to beat the Rays, but I mean, oh, right now it's one. not looking good. Bry, open it up. Oz putting it into half a, Agni, almost gets a good shot in. Milas, a little missed there. Yox, oh. it over Oz. Bry with the oh. fake, oh, puts oh. it in, Char. Dude. Beautiful shot from a beautiful pass from Bry. What is this? You ever hit anything like that, Pete? You ever hit anything like that, bro? The shot, yes. The pass, no. Uh, bro, I was going to say, probably the same thing from me. I don't know that a lot of people are hitting that pass. That is on, uh, again, just ridiculous from Bry. There's not enough words in my vocabulary that I can, you know, describe Bry with. But he's pretty he's pretty good. Uh, and, and again, this Blizzard team, it's only a matter of time before they come alive. If they are able to buy themselves another game, that's all that matters. Char finds one with a minute and eight left. And that's gonna be huge from the Blizzard. At this point, uh, it's all it's all love. Uh, but my goodness, you know, it was all love until it became a game here. Char finds another one, gonna put the Blizzard up. I think this is possibly their the first, first lead time. in the series, right? Their first lead in the series, yeah. yes. Gotta be. Blizzards just have a minute left of their season that almost went away. Now they have an extra game here soon. If they can just fill this last minute out. But Rays, are they really gonna let this be? Are they really gonna make it to another game? Or will they end it here? Will they find the tying oh. game? Char denying the tie game, putting them up by two. Wow. Yeah, I mean, listen, we, we talked about it. When are they going to start finding some answers? When are we going to start seeing something new? Uh, this is something new. They, they found a few answers now. They hit the books and they said, listen, this is what we got. We, we've done our research on you. We've adapted. We're ready to play. And, you know, th all of a sudden, they're they're able to kind of hang a little bit. Oh, hold on. They're only able to hang if Nihilus misses that. Nihilus does indeed miss that. The Michigan Blizzard are going to have 20 seconds to not sell a 4-2 lead. That's going to take them to game five. They're going to be able to come to the table and do this. They're, they are marching right up to the task. They want to get it done. They're not willing to lose right here. Azira able to slot one in. Not sure that we'll see another one, but that's going to be 11 seconds left on the clock. The Blizzard have to endure this, and if you're the Rays, you're, you're hoping for just a miracle kickoff play right here. Anything that gets you that extra point and does not take you to a game five, that's what's in the books right now. That's all you got. Yeah, both teams right now playing their best as this could have almost been the final game, but right wow. there, Bry. Putting the dagger in the heart for this game here. Putting us into game five of this series. Now, I don't I don't know that I could have told you before this game that we would have been going to anything past the game five. But Riot and Gav, bro, take a deep breath. Your team is going to live until <laughs> is gonna live until the next game. You are gonna have a game five opportunity here. The real question becomes, are we gonna see something from the Rays, whether it be a timeout to maybe ice the Blizzard, give them some time to think, or are they going to put back in Ryan? You know, I, I think the Rays have an opportunity to do something here. They need to make sure that they do it. But all else, you know, aside, the Blizzard pulled up when they needed to. They're a team who is clutch. They are able to win when they need to, and that's, you know, their biggest factor moving forward. The fact that they're able to just pull something out like that and, and just make it work, I mean, props to them. They're one hell of a team for that. Yeah, Blizzard's just really stepped up this game, and I feel like they could have done it earlier, but I mean, for the content, it's got it, it's got to happen now. Right. Then never, you know? Of course. Right now, Whew. we just need huge step-ups from both teams. Yeah. And I honestly, I feel like Rays are going to end this game. Rays are going to okay. end this game. The only, for the sole reason that there isn't, there isn't enough pressure from the the blizzards throughout that entire game. I've seen just flukes from 
from the rays, but that's only appeared when Nihilus joined. But no, no disrespect to Nihilus, but I think it's Are they... a little what's our a little roster switch looking up like, on the team. Yeah, what's what's the roster yeah. looking like? What do we got? Ryan replacing okay. Nihilus here. And now we have both teams back to their original rosters. I mean, well, Blizzard's never changed, but Ooh. Ray's here. A demo from, I don't wow. know the process there. What? Hold on, hold on. I does saw Brian, Agni. Does Brian miss that? Or does Brian intentionally no. go for the demo? I feel like he intentionally went for the demo, but oh, I want to question Agni here. Agni kind of dodged the ball he like <laughs> went for the you like you like i like i saw him go for the ball like okay he's gonna go for the ball and then whoop, straight to middle i don't i don't know what his process was there but mm -hmm. it led him to it led him to a an opponent goal here and, and the ball needs to start going in yeah they just gotta be able to save the ball here but right now blizzard's leading this is the first time the Blizzards have let, let in a game, I'm pretty sure. Last game at one point, but you know, it, it's very, very, very short-lived. Acne, gonna soar in here. Find a goal in the top right corner, and this is ridiculous. Just watch Acne stay on the ball here. First opportunity, slots it. Acne gets the ball in. Let's go, that's beautiful work. 4.22 left on the clock, one to one. Again, you know, every single game from here on out is gonna be the Blizzard need to win. You know, if the Rays have an insurance game again, and then another one, they don't they don't want to use those insurance games. By no means do they want to have to think about those. But they definitely, uh, you know, hold the advantage here still, knowing that they can drop a game or two, and the Blizzard, you know, need to do it in one. They they can't lose again. Yeah, Blizzards just showing that they're here to play. I mean, last seconds of. Uh oh. Out here scoring like three goals. Pretty amazing. I want to see more from the Blizzards though. I want to see them be able to beat this Rays team anywhere in the half, like in their own half even. Especially since their defense is nearly just Char. Char has been their line of defense for a very while. I think Ooh. the more pressure that they add to it, the more Char is, is needed on defense. And I think. Char could use a little help here, you know, I, here I, and there. I do agree, but I think you also have to remember, you know, who, who has been the offense for so long? It's been Bry. Bry's the guy you need on, you know, the offensive 100%. You don't, you know, it's not that you don't want somebody else on it. Bry's just the one who's been the most consistent. He moves the ball. He, sl he you know, he, get, he moves the ball around so that everybody has an opportunity. Uh, he distributes it. You know, that's that's why it works so well for him. It's going to have to be something here from the Rays, though. The follow-ups from them have been not as prominent as they have been in the first couple of games. I don't know if that was just the Blizzard warming up or the Blizzard not being around, but, you know, right off the bat, the one thing that I can tell you that looks different from this Rays team versus what we've seen from them so far is number one, Azira, you know, he normally would hit that. But number two, it, it is definitely their follow-ups. They were so, so, so fast on the follow-ups beforehand, and now they're just not as much. You know, now it looks like it's a, now it looks like it's a dead even game. But I think, I think if they're able to recapture some of that extra offensive pressure, the continued, uh, you know, touches on the ball on the other side of the field, they're gonna be looking like a whole different team. And their Blizzard, I don't know that they're gonna be ready for them. Yeah, both teams right now just trying to find that game-winning goal right here. Maybe even the last goal of this season, too. Who knows? Both teams trying to find the game-winning goal, but Hackney almost putting it in. Oz, a little double commit with Ryan. Ryan receives a pass mid. Puts it back mid again. Oz couldn't get to it, though. Hackney. Gets bumped. It's a free net. Can Yox finish it? No, he can't. Oz ready. Char. A little offense. Let's hit mid for Ryan. Ryan. Putting him mid. Agni. Gets blocked by Yox. Char. Having to send this back straight into their half. Ryan. Ready for it, though. Yox putting him mid. Oz. Going for a double oh. play, Brian just finishes it. Oh no, and this is a Nolan level own goal here. You know, you hate to see it, 
but you really almost love to see it because of how fantastic it is. I mean, aside from the fact that you had all three Michigan Blizzard players going for that ball, I, that's that's a tough read to have to make either way. You know, that communication is absolutely key there. That's that's one ever, you know, that the Michigan Blizzard is going to have to tuck away here. But I was going to have to find another one. I, I personally am hoping that this game prolongs. Maybe goes to game seven, you know what I mean? As a caster, I'm, I'm certainly interested in it. And Char interested in it as well. Char going to slot another one in here. I have a beautiful touch from Yox. And that's another thing the Blizzard do really well. They, they you know, are, are good on their toes. They're ready to make a touch, and they're all ready to go for that touch afterwards. So that's going to be a huge, huge play from the Blizzard. Where, by the way, going to be sitting at the exact same thing they were last time. They've got a minute. They've got to figure out a goal. Yeah, both teams right now trying to just really end it. Or one team trying to end it and one trying to continue it. Acne couldn't find the goal. Ryan put in it mid. Yox trying to keep a pressure. Could put it mid. Ozzy right there. Ready for it though. Ryan trying to get back. Char in the leading the lead man for this game so far. Char gets a good read. Putting him up by one. Dude, this is what they needed. Char is clutch. That's what I've been saying. You there there are moments where nobody else is able to do anything on the field but Char. And I think that's what makes this Blizzard team so good. You know, Bride does have the defense, you know, the offensive. Char is the defensive. But I think what makes Char, you know, as good as Char is, is that nobody's ready for him. Up the field, ready to make that play. There's not a single person ready for it. We love you, Char. That's unfortunate, sir. Um, you're, you're good at lots of other things, though. Like, redirecting the ball. Unfortunately, I think he just runs out of boost here. Or maybe just becomes awkward, but... We got a game. We are potentially looking at an overtime to decide what happens next. 16 seconds left to go. 3-3. Three to three. Acne able to take this kickoff here. This could be over real fast if one team makes a huge play. Ryan going to take this off backward. Oh, zero already up. Not able to get the touch. This is potentially trouble. Blizzard looking down the field as is Char. Oh, my goodness, Char. Not able to find the net. Oh, that's unfortunate. 3-3. Three to three. We go to overtime. Take me through a peek. Zero seconds. Char just couldn't get the last minute touch. And I mean, it was just over. And now both teams trying to find, just find a path to this finals. Rays trying to end it here. Game five. While on the other hand, Blizzard's here trying to continue the fairy tale all the way to Everland and bring the dreams to, oh my. Acne, can oh, he no. finish it, Brian? Oh, no. With the save, Oz putting him in, goes down. Ryan, uh -oh. keeping pressure. Oh. Zira, try to get the radar right. Couldn't get it though. Char oh. gets the save under. Oz puts it over one. Free net. Acne couldn't get the touch. Azira goes up already. Yox ready for the save. Acne, all the way back. Bry pressures the ball. Acne, up for this already. Puts it over one. Yox gets a pinch with Bry. Azira just trying to put some pressure. Char keeping it in their half. Acne. A little mistouch. Ryan having to take control. Yox putting it back into Char's hands. Giving it to Bry though. Bry what nearly gets it past Yox. Char here. Still put in pressure. Can Ryan put it middle no he can't yogs there acne puts it middle for azira azira hits it down yogs couldn't get the touch but char there for the save ryan putting it down acne trying to get it past mid azira not there in time trying to put it mid though yogs ready for it though ryan last man back nearly gets bumped ryan still trying to just keep the pressure up char put in the Man's work right there, putting it everywhere on the field for him to char. Nearly gets it past one. Zira having to struggle there. Yox already on the ball. Bry gets a shot. Acne there. Yox almost gets a bump <laughs> on one. Ryan just getting it past Bry. Getting a good shot. Char. 
Jeez. This is a very good match. Seriously, you've, you've been talking through two minutes and 30 seconds of absolute fire gameplay. Char with an opportunity, not able to make it happen. Ryan gonna be the proprietor taking that one out. Ryan gonna stay on the ball here, see if he can get one more touch off for his teammate. Gonna be an awkward touch for the Blizzard here. By the way, it's, it's now becoming very clear that, you know, the Blizzard are not interested in, you know, really taking a whole lot of chances here they're playing it safe they're playing the defensive you know way that they really haven't so far and they're taking the offensive when they can get it this is going to be super awkward i was here able to get the touch and i'll let this one fall back in the blizzard it's only a matter of time yox oh seems like it could have been ended there acne gonna take this one out brian not able to get the touch on him oh my goodness ryan off the back this oh blizzard what are you doing blizzard Come alive! Backboard! Oh no, this is need it. this is too crazy. Ryan gonna go up, see if he can get one off backboard. No flip reset! Opportunity, Acne able to fly his car past the ball. Yawks gonna stick behind this one here. The ball gonna dead fish around midfield. Bry up in the air with some boost is a dangerous thing. Not, not what you want there. This is gonna be a fake up from the Blizzard, and Bry uh, gonna have to take this ball back to his own side. Might not be such a bad thing. Again, these these small little intervals where you give one person the ball and you just let them take it and run, gonna buy you a second. Bry able to get the clear out here. Wow, a shot, another block. The Blizzard not able or willing to let this game end. It's been all intense gameplay this far. Brian gonna decide to go off of this one, let Bry take it up. Bry gonna go around one. You've got one defender back and three Michigan Blizzard on the press. Yoss gonna take it around. So we can get the 50, put it up out in front. Char finds it, 4-12 into overtime. The Michigan Blizzard push a game six. No way. Blizzard what a play. just finding the missing piece to put the puzzle together wow. and find this game win. My goodness, and there you go. You see the love in the chat. You see Zesty, you see Joe, you see Kulo. Wow, the gentleman here for the Blizzard win. You love to see it. The Blizzard come out on top though. We go to a game six, I was saying it. I was saying it, <laughs> timeout. I'll ask either team if they want a timeout right here, but I I'm not gonna lie. This is, this is a tough situation to be in because now you're faced with, you know, as, as, the, as the raise, do you take a timeout? Do you have to reset? Do you have to figure this out again? You know, what, what kind of comes with this, you know, in, entire breakdown of the game? I mean, you just went overtime. It was pretty close, don't get me wrong, but the Rays ultimately broke. So, you know, that's where you have to really kind of figure out what comes next. Talk to me. What do we got? <clears throat> Both teams just trying their best to continue their fairy tale. But Blizzard's here, reigning champions right now, finding their way right. here into this finals. <laughs> They're up, they're down by one now, nearly at match point. Can they finish it though? Wow. Ah, uh, it's the big question. I mean, they're let, they, literally five minute overtime, four, four, four and a half minute overtime, whatever. They had the overtime going. It ended up being super close. I don't know that I can tell you that one team is going to come out here and play like this. I think if there's a team that has an advantage right now, though, it is going to end up being the Blizzard. And it's and it's only really because, you know, they have they just won the game. You know, they won that overtime. You lose an overtime like that, and that's that's tough sometimes. So we'll have to really see the Blizzard come back here. Uh, the Blizzard. The Rays come back here and, and really be able to solidify how they want to play this game. Azira back in the Dominus. That's another great choice, to be honest. But, you know, it, it, like I said, you know, it just seemed like all the follow-ups were coming around and the Rays were grandiose, 1-2, you know, everybody was getting touches on the ball, they were doing everything they needed to, and now it's just not like that. Now, you know, the Blizzard warmed up, they've seen a couple of games from them, they're, they're starting to play differently, they have to adapt. Yeah, both teams right now, for Rays, they're just not how I saw them in first game. Rays, they were on a whole different level. It looked like it was going to be a game, a game four. From the very beginning, oh, that Rays oh, got. Yox taking the words out of my mouth. Just to score that goal there. Gets it past one, gets it past another. Bry getting the pass in. Then Yox gets the finisher. Yeah, no, then that's another prime example of what I was talking about, about the Blizzard earlier. They're great at improvising. They're great at working on their feet. 
you know, you make that first touch, and, you know, not a lot of people make that second touch. Yox expects the second touch from Bry. He knows that that touch is coming out, whether it's comms, whether it's, you know, just the fact that they all play together like that. You know, it's it's one thing that it's very expected with this team, and I think that's another thing that brings the Blizzard, you know, up, up to this level of play. The fact that they're anticipating, you know, and, and more importantly, getting correct, where their teammates are pressing the ball, Ryan uh, needs to start hitting those shots. That cannot be a shot that goes by the wayside. Acne, not able to pop that one out as he wants either. It's going to be Bry off the corner here, taking him around. 10 boost to his name. Hoping he gets another one. No demo on Ryan. No boost in order to get that demo either. It's going to be the raise to clear out here. 3.30 left to go in the play. The Blizzard, every time that they've had a lead, they have not squandered it yet. Uh, I'd be interested to see if this is what we end up seeing here as well. Oh, this is such a win. I, my classes tomorrow just got canceled. Sorry, go ahead. Um, well, both teams right now are doing very good, but Blizzard's doing better. Two goals up, winning, well, actually leading. They haven't even scored a goal here yet in the first three minutes. I don't think that's happened in the last five games with the Rays here. It's been crazy close every single time. It's been one goal right to the next. You know, it's you know it's, it's been a while before we've seen, you know, back to back to back. Brian with an opportunity here to beat Bry. Bry able to get back and make the save. Acne going to lay this one out in front. This could be an opportunity if Azira reads it right. Off the backboard, Ryan with a slam. Ryan not able to get it there either. Acne going to be the third player back for the Rays. And all of a sudden, the triple commits. The three players up from the Blizzard starts working. Actually, my apologies. Char going to remain back for most of that one after he gets the 50. But I, still ridiculous to see that these plays are working. The Rays have no answer, and this is this is the Blizzard team. Can we get a new server? All right, we will have a server reset after this. But this is the Blizzard team that is so dangerous, that is so, uh, you know, uh, godlike at times. You know, you see them able to follow up each other's touches that don't make sense, that aren't doing things normal touches would do. 236. And the Rays are able to sneak one in. This might not be the end of this game. We might not just see uh, the Blizzard take this one and run. It might actually end up being as close as, you know, another overtime that we just saw last game. But we got to start off uh, baby steps here, baby steps. Azira needs to just help his team find another one here. Azira, I think, just has to be the leading charge to this Trojan of a, of a team here to step up and play their, play their game. Show them why they're here in the finals and show that they can win this. I think Azira is the big step here. Azira, right into Bry. Acne couldn't get the touch. Azira still trying to get it past one. Char puts it down. Ryan ready to read it though. Azira, a little back pass to Acne. Yeah, this is going to be tough. Following the ball. Azira gets a good <laughs> shot past one. And that was a one goal game. Wow. Ray's here. Showing that they're here to play. Blizzards ain't all that. Because Ray's are here. Blizzards ain't all that. And they're here that. to show up. Is that, is that what you really just said to me? Blizzards ain't all that. Uh, Blizzards, Rays are here to show up. I, I like that mentality. I, you know, this is the 4-2 you were talking about. I don't know if you had it on the Blizzards or, or whether it was on the Rays. But we have a 4-2 potentially on the table. Um... Acne gonna take shot here. Nobody home. Equalizer. The Rays are right back in this, ladies and gentlemen. We got a game, and you are right, Pete. The Blizzard ain't Rays nothing right now. Here. Not right now, at least. Char opts to go for the boost. Trust me, he will never do that again. Uh, but minute 37 left, and again, we keep talking. This could be a minute 37 left to go in the Blizzard season, or they could end up binding themselves for another five minutes if they end up winning this game, but they gotta get there first. Opportunity here from Yox. Yox able to get a touch, kind of messes it up for Bry on the shot back though. The Rays starting to gain some more of that offensive pressure. I don't know whether the Blizzard were just feeling comfortable, but I think if you're the Blizzard right now, you need to take a step back, you need to regain, you need to think through your processes and just play smart. And I, you know, it's much easier said than done, but you know, these guys are all smart players. We've watched them do these things before. These guys just need to get on top of things and keep moving how they normally do, and they'll be all right. Last minute, Pete. Last minute oh. here. Azira putting the last 
the potentially the last goal of this game here. Ryan gets a good pass over Char. Yox, last man there, couldn't get the touch. Azira, maybe putting the game winning goal here. Game winning. Both teams oh, <laughs> trying to just find their fairy tale here. And it's looking like Rays here are going to finish theirs. Char doesn't get the touch. Yox almost putting it in. Azira getting it past one. Azira still on the ball. Fry! Showing that the Blizzards are still here in this game. Absolutely. And, you know, this is awesome because there are half, half the people in the chat right now are cheering for the team that beat them in playoffs. <laughs> it's like, Okeanos is here, loves the Blizzard. Let's go. I mean, who doesn't love the Blizzard? Uh, but, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a game on our hand. 40 seconds left, 4-4. Four to four. Opportunities flying everywhere. A potential overtime looming on the horizon. I mean, there's there's a lot going on here, and it looks like a lot more to come. Ryan Why gonna you? find his goal. He wanted to contribute here. Said, Azira, oh, y'all been doing too much. Let me step in here for a second. Ryan gonna slam it home. Hit the freaking gym, he said. And let's go. That's exactly what you're looking for. If you're the Rays right now, if you're the Blizzard, again, play it smart, play it safe, but you've got a goal to catch up on. I, I have to imagine they'll be able to find it, though. They're good. Final 30 seconds here. Both teams have been struggling countless times to put goals, oh, goals no. in the end. Oh, Ryan no. couldn't get the touch. Ryan putting the dagger in the heart. Wow. Will this be it? I guess. Will this be the final two goals? Ryan showing up at the end. The this. hero oh. to the village both teams right now are both actual fans here <laughs> everyone amazed of how good this game has been That's blizzards tough. fold and here we are raise the finals winner wow amazing that's this is a little ridiculous to be honest we got to game six. Okay, we did get to game six. I'm over here frantically wondering if I did or did not save replays. But my goodness, I yes, we did. Uh, I was going to say, you, you come in clutch for that too. But wow, guys, we've got our all-star champions crowned. It is the San Diego Rays. My, but what a series. Let's, let's break that down real quick. The Blizzard come into the first two games looking like they're not even supposed to be here. Not supposed to be in the finals. Like, they, like they shouldn't even, you know, be near the finals. And the Rays, you know, just kept playing so well. And then, you know, the Blizzard starts to come alive. And, you know, it's it's just history from there. But the Blizzard... That series was yeah. nuts. Wow. Yeah, both Actually teams nuts. right there. Ugh. Rays looked like they were just going to take it there from the start. It looked like it was going to be a breeze. Like, they were that team. Yep. They were them. But... Blizzards, they had other opinions. They had no V are them. So they stepped up to the field and got two games off, but unfortunate end there to the Blizzards team right there. Couldn't get that last finish, finishing game to maybe even potentially River Sweep, but both teams here, amazing work. These two truly are a great finals team. Well, and that's the other thing, too. You know, it's finals. At the end of the day, yes, we want people to be able to see a good game. We want to have good games. But really, you know, I, I just I just didn't want it to be a sweep. That's all I care about. As long as it's not a sweep, it's a pretty good game. We've got, oh, we've got, we've got, our, we've got our gentlemen joining in chat right now. We're going to hear from them, uh, see what they have to say. We've got one... We've got potential. Uh -oh. oh, there it is. Absolutely. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the cast. To the cast booth. booth. Hello. Good Hello. to be here. Thank booth. you for <laughs> Wow. All right. So first of all, congratulations, guys. You congratulations. It was light work. <laughs> you you won the the oh, you light work. work. Oh. It was light work. I sold two games so they can have it. Oh, don't say that. Are you for real? You know, Why? you know, now nah, I'm going to, you know, Yak said they'll give us two games. Yeah, I think it's the other <laughs> yeah. way around. Yeah. yeah. We felt sorry. Acne was lagging the whole time. I mean, Only you can't beat us. But... 
that that's that. That's I mean. Well, I won't lie. It was a crazy great game from our perspective. Every moment casting it was awesome. High octane, high pressure. Uh, I mean, everything went well according to plan. That's exactly what we want to see, though. You know what I mean? It's a finals game. High pressure, high everything. And we're good to go moving forward. But, I mean, from, from, from us at URL, congratulations. You are the URL 3's Season 2 All-Star Champions. And, oh, that feels so oh. good. That feels do great to hear. Do I, get a, do I get a Rocket League pack for that? <laughs> you do. You should have been all ultimate. Right. <laughs> should have been ultimate as well. Well, I've got a couple of questions uh, for you guys in general. The first is for Alzira. I know you know where this is going, but how does it feel to yeah. finally redeem yourself, to get a chip to your name, uh, especially you know coming from a whole bunch of different teams in threes, uh, all the trash talk you've heard. I mean, you're the, you're the antagonist who just prevailed here, or the protagonist who just prevailed here. How does it feel? Uh, well, I feel good just because Yox, uh, but I made an excuse saying Yox was sick. So I really feel good about beating him up. Uh, I don't know that we need to feel good about that, but I, I think, you know, obviously, <laughs> you know, feeling feeling good is one thing. <laughs> feeling good because somebody's sick is a completely another. Um, I guess. No, 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 because I mean, they were using it as an excuse. Well. That's why. I, that's why. That's 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 a that's a excuse absolutely. Um, take take me through comms. How how were comms during the games? Uh, you know, you go up three games. You're you're down in the fourth. You end up losing the fourth. What does that whole you know area where you guys were losing look like? How how did that kind of take place? Ryan was yelling at us all the time. <laughs> yeah, it was a scary place to. <laughs> you make one mistake and Ryan <laughs> in your eyes. No, 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 it was no, terrifying. No, 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 no. no, no, no. That's, he was just yelling at us. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, keeping everybody in check, making sure that you know the game stays you know within your reach. That's big. Uh, you know, having that leader, make sure you're really able to just take everything in stride. You know, keep your mental in check. That's huge. Uh, speaking of the mental, how was the mental, you know, during the game? Were you guys, you know, frantic at all, you know, during during the end, during that overtime? I mean, that's that's my other question, you know. Take take me through that. Um, yeah, starting the series, mental was great. We, we knew this something like this was going to happen. Um, you know, we've been grinding all week. You know, the trash talk fueled us. <laughs> you know, we, we were winning this series no matter what. But, um... I feel like when, once we started going down, it was like we were just making mistakes ourselves that were giving them goals. That was kind of like annoying because we just knew we were, knew we were, we were better. We just were right. making mistakes on our end. But um, we ended up turning around in the overtime. Overtime was huge. Um, we lost that, I think. We lost the overtime. Right. We lost yeah. the overtime. <laughs> yeah. no, we lost right. the after, after that, I was, <laughs> off, of a, you know, off of a mistake. Off of a mistake yep. by me, we lost the overtime. So, I mean. Um, after that, much. we kind of we kind of just knew that they were just getting lucky. And we would end up just winning the series anyway. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. I like to hear Pete. Anything from you? Well, sir? we went. Sorry, we went ahead. up three zero. We went up three zero and decided to throw in a cold wash, and so we kind of <laughs> gave them two games. Yeah. But you know. Uh, no, 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 no. Nihilus is a goat. Dude, He's a goat. Nihilus yeah. is the reason yeah, you guys are cold here cold. right now, though. He was that. He was you know, I, to I told I told him. I told him. I told him in the, earlier in the season that he could very well be on a roster, but he wanted to stick with us because he just saw our potential, and so I appreciate him for that. Yeah. Too bad I got us. <laughs> Seriously. I mean, you guys <laughs> on top of the world right now. Everything going your way. Uh, you know, I, I know that this wasn't even, you know, a complete team to begin with. You guys started with Bluffy uh, and then, you know, ended up getting Azir from somewhere else. So this wasn't even a complete, a complete team from the start. You guys have been working and putting in the time. I know that. I, I've heard a lot about it. So, I mean, well-deserved. Uh, it, it ended up being a great game. Obviously, you guys want to go show that, that Blizzard team some love. They played great. Uh, everybody in yep. chat, make sure you go show them love, too. This was a, a finals to remember, for sure. All-Star is going to be uh, closing up here, though. Pete, do you have any uh, any questions for these guys? Rogue, you either? Uh, not really. I just want to congratulate them. Um, very good game overall. It was probably the only all-star match and the best all-star match to watch mm -hmm. if i'm gonna be honest okay. yeah, that was that was a crazy series to watch you guys like you had me sold i was like they're gonna take this the sweep they're gonna sweep no problem and then you switched out nihilus <laughs> and i was like oh what have you done <laughs> 
And then it, was, it, was it looked like they were come back. I was like, what's going on? They're not going to reverse sweep, please. Yeah, just got to get something to watch. No, but the, the Blizzard is a very great team, clutch. so... They, they well, so yeah. that, like, I mentioned that in the chat. I was like, I think that swap out gave them a little bit of steam to kind of start catching up, but thankfully you guys shut that down. In my definitely opinion, congratulations. Though, I think the Yetis was a better team. <laughs> Yo, oh my god, the, this the is smoke oh, still. <laughs> Yo, well, um, guys, I, I only have one more thing to say before we close out this All Star season. Um, we do have an award to give out. We do the MVP, we do the Hennessy Player of the Game award given out by Henny himself. Henny himself is not here right now. Henny's got a little homework to do. He's going to go watch the, oh. your series, and he's going he's gonna to announce that at our Season 3, Season 3, Season 2, 3's award show. We'll have that up for you guys. Confirmation on the award show. I know we've not had it recently, but we will have it for this. So, guys, get hyped. We'll have that for you guys then, but... Overall, great game, well played. I'm, I'm glad to see that you guys, you know, put in the time and the work and the effort to, to really make it happen and come together. That's great work. That's a great job. And, you know, at the end of the day, you get a chip because of it. So congratulations, and thank you guys so much. That's, that's what Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for all the work you guys put in. We got you guys. Yeah. This season was amazing. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. Absolutely. Uh, also, we're going to be... Tuned in for the ultimate raise Oof. match. I think it's later today. Yes, sir. Eight thirty. Everybody yeah, 830. else, listen yeah, up to that. Hopefully, hard. hopefully, hopefully, hopefully the raise finished the job there too. Oof. Imagine yeah, bringing home two chips. Let's go. You think it can Something do it? Two chips to a new franchise. That'd be. <laughs> that'd be great. Two chips to a new franchise. That's true. The only the only person with accolades cool like that is literally P. Yeah. <laughs> Cool bags knew how to draft. He, he drafted Ryan, best player on All Star. Drafted, uh, uh, picked up J.K. Frost. He's playing like the best player in yeah. Ultimate. I mean, he just knows what he had to do. Absolutely, he, he knows very well, and it's the reason he got the job. So at the end of the day, you got a good GM, you got a good team, you got a good crew, you get a good chance of winning the chip. That's exactly what we saw here. Uh, but on that note, we are gonna shut down the stream for a little while we got about an hour before our next finals game our next finals game is the massachusetts minutemen taking on the san diego rays in the ultimate championship match after that we close out our url3 season in contender where the angels will take on the arizona scorpions it's going to happen right immediately after our ultimate matchup at 8 30 scheduled for 9 30 odds are we'll probably just go right after it but on that note, everybody, thanks so much for tuning in. This has been your All-Star Finals. All-Star and Legends closed out for the season. Contender and Ultimate remain. Guys, tune back in at 8.30 to see our final two champions get crowned. And on that note, we'll see you guys later. Uh, Bye-bye.